Welcome to this creative tutorial on how to design a simple realistic book using just PowerPoint. Let's start by creating a new blank slide. Go to view tab and click on the guide option. Now take a rounded rectangle and place it on one side of the slide. Click on the orange button and drag it little apart like this. There should be only a small curve. Right click and go to format shape. Go to color and choose a dark red color. Shape outline as no outline. Now go to effects shadow option. Click on the presets. Choose inside top right. Blur to 19 points and distance to 13 points. Go to 3D rotation and choose oblique top right. Now duplicate the shape using Ctrl D. Go to rotate and choose Flip horizontal and place it on the opposite side. Again, duplicate the shape, give white color, make the size little smaller than the first one and place it something like this. Now duplicate the white color and place it on the opposite side. Click on flip horizontal and take the guide option from the view tab. Draw a small rectangle, shape outline as no outline. Select the rectangle shape, go to shape fill and choose eyedropper, place it on the red rounded rectangle. Now you will find the small rectangle has been uh, colored red color. Now go to effects option, choose inner inside top from the presets option, duplicate the shape using ctrl D and place it on the opposite side. Select block arc from the shapes tab. And place it on the middle of these two shapes. Make it little bigger and shape outline as no outline. Click on the gradient fill. There should be only three gradient stops. For the first gradient stop, choose black color. For the second gradient stop, choose white color. And for the third gradient stop, choose a gray color. Go to the effects shadow option. Choose inside top from the preset. Now select both small rectangles and block arc together. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and place it below. Again duplicate the shapes till the bottom of the slide. Now you can see that the spiral bind has been formed. Now take a rectangle and place it at the bottom of the left slide. Make uh, the shape outline as no outline. Give a green color to it. Now draw a text box and type signs, adjust the font size and color. Now we want to draw the lines on the notebook. So click on the lines option and draw vertically. Give a black color to it. Now make the width of the line to 2 1 by 4 points. Draw a horizontal line and give it a black color. Duplicate the lines using Ctrl D till the bottom of the slide. Duplicate the main slide, change the subject to English, give a different color to it. Here I am giving yellow color. Duplicate the slide as many times you want and give appropriate title and content. Here I have used four slides and with some content. Once you finish with your slide preparation, go to the first slide and select all and press Ctrl G. Or you can right click and go to group option. In this way, we need to group all the slides one by one. Now go to the first slide, click on the transition, select page curl and choose apply to all. Now click on the slideshow to see your results. Save your slide as an image or use it in your videos or lessons. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel for more creative PowerPoint tutorials. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.